Hi, are you all ready to make magic? I've come across this new Be Live thing, and this is the first time I've used it for a live broadcast, and I'm loving it. In so much so that I will probably um, try to put one a week in at least. How's your week been? I've had a great week, brilliant week. I yeah, I'm going to boast. I won the Inspirational Woman of the Year Award from the Fearless Women. Um, it was a thing in London. Yay! Won an award. And on that journey up, I got talking to the most amazing lady, Jill Donnell, really trying to figure out who I am and what I do. Now, all my clients know, and those people I speak to know, that when I'm talking to them, I go banging on about not what your job title is. What do you do? What do you do? But I've had a bit of an identity crisis for a few months now. I consider myself a speaker. I'm a speaker. My end goal is to be a speaker. Yet I spend a lot of my time trying to sell, hard to sell sometimes, courses and things. And after having this chat and meeting these amazing women at this awards ceremony, I realised that I needed to come out from behind the curtain. It was almost like I was on a stage, but the curtains were closed and I was trying to put on a play that no one could see. So I've opened the curtains and I've stepped forward. And I know a lot of women of my age, over 50, and that's as much as I'm going to say, over 50, feel the same thing. We, we, you know, it's like you wake up one day and you spend half your life caring for other people, especially, you know, with children and family. Or in my case as well, I worked in the voluntary sector, so I spent a lot of time working with very vulnerable people and, and inspiring and getting them to aspire to something more in their lives and had some great successes. Loved it. Don't get me wrong, I loved the work, but it, it was exhausting at times. And, you know, when I got past 50 and illness and one thing and another, and I, I discovered that I needed to earn a living but I couldn't work for anybody again. So, you know, here I am. And you'll see the story on the website, all the W's, BevHepting.com. But talking to Jill, I realised I wasn't very good at saying, this is me and I'm brilliant and this is what I do and I can help you. And, and a lot of women are like that. A lot of women I speak to over 50 sort of wake up one day and their kids are leaving home or awful things happen. You know, marriages break apart. Suddenly they've got to go out and earn a living redundancy has happened to a lot of women lately and they, they're not sure what to do next. And I want to talk to you ladies. I want to talk to you about discovering yourself and your voice, about being able to listen to that voice that you had as a child that has become so quiet, so put down, that sometimes it won't even whisper to you. You need to find that voice and drag it out and remember the things that you always wanted to do and the passions you had. They may have changed over the years. You've got to dust off the old ones to figure out if the new ones are any good. But the thing you do have to do, and this is the key, when you've discovered that voice, when you voice to yourself or to other people what it is you want to do, that is the defining moment in your life when you have to grab your courage in both hands and step forward. It doesn't have to be a big change in life. It could be a small one. Whatever it is, it takes an amount of courage to step forward into a new life. I have reinvented myself. I think this is my fourth time round. Yet, I don't think reinvention is the word. I think as I've got older and my life circumstances have changed, I've rediscovered some of those passions I had when I was younger. Now, I didn't always have purple hair. Well, let's go back a bit. When I was 19 or 20 and I was in London and I was at drama school and it was the punk rock era of that day. Yeah, I, I had spiky hair. It wasn't this colour. Way out closed the whole works. And then... I become a mum and I went to work and, you know, and I became, well, my kids wouldn't say so, but I became relatively normal. And it's only sort of in the last few years I've embraced that part of me that wants to be unconventional. 
that wants to have purple hair, that wants to wear hippie clothes, that wants to go out and do strange things. I grabbed my courage to start a business. And that's not been easy, trust me. You know, it's lovely to work for myself, but again, it's still hard work. And I want to do it my way. And so often people say, no, no, you've got to do it this way or that way. And the rebel in me goes, no, I want to do it my way. And that's okay because it's not just about earning a living. It's about creating a life. And if we are creating a life for ourselves at this age, what are we doing? We live a lot longer these days. We live a lot longer with less pension. We have to consider what we're going to do and how we're going to live and how we are going to feel. I work with a lot of ladies that have set up their own business and it's amazing what they do. I need to get them all to speak with more confidence. We all need to be able to discover that voice and tell people about ourselves, about what we want, about our ambitions, our aspirations, our business, our clients, everything. We have to use the voice we have and people need to hear it. And people are very, very scared about using their voice, not only in public speaking, but oh, excuse me, but even I spoke, you know, spoke to women who have a message they want to get across to their family or their boss or their husband and struggle to find the right words. Confident speaking is not about being open able to open your mouth and it all pour out. That's not confident speaking, that's ranting. You know, the mouth opens, everything comes out before the brain has had any way to put it into any sort of order. To be a confident speaker, you have to make an order, make a sense of what it is you want to say. Be very clear on the message that you want to say. And keep to that measure. Keep focused. Don't let yourself get distracted or, or taken off point at any place. That's what confident speaking is. You don't have to be an extrovert who talks aloud all the time. You don't have to be someone who loves being in the public eye. To be able to speak confidently about anything to anyone means knowing exactly what it is you want to say. Knowing exactly what it is you want the other person to do or feel. And being able to walk away with your head held high that you've got your message across. They may not always agree with you. They may not say yes. They may just walk away. You, you have told them, you have got your message out. And that's what confident speaking really is. I wanted to come and tell you that today. I wanted to make that magic for you happen. And I wanted to test this new Be Live thing. So I hope that I've given you some food for thought. Now you know what to do. Put a question in the comment box. Share with everybody if you want. Well, no, please share with everybody. Go to the website, bethhepton.com. Email me, phone me, any way you like. If you've got a question or you just want to explore that a little more, let me know. Let me know if other people out there, other women, that same age, well, I'm 57, but anyone over 50 who is looking at their life go, what in God's name happened? It may be a great life, but are there some bits still missing that that little voice hasn't quite had the courage to say? Well, go dig deep, discover your voice, and tell people what you want to tell them. Don't rant at them, just tell them. So you have a great day. I will be seeing you again soon. And um, please do share this with other people if you think they're interested. Bye.